This tutorial video will illustrate how to use the ambient light sensor that comes with the Galago starter kit. First we have the ambient light sensor here and a 10k ohm resistor, as well as a battery pack consisting of two AA batteries, which provides power down this power rail on the left side of the solderless breadboard. To hook it up, we first need to identify that the ambient light sensor is really a phototransistor and that has a collector and an emitter pin, so we have to identify which one is which. If we look at this thing, you can see that there's actually a straight segment inside it and a curved segment. The straight segment is the collector and the curved segment is the emitter. Let's hook it up. So we'll place it in the solderless breadboard like this with the collector side on the top. Next, let's take the 10k ohm resistor and connect that between the collector side and another point. Then we'll take two wires and connect the positive rail to the collector side with the resistor and the negative rail or ground to the emitter of the phototransistor or ambient light sensor. Remember, as light strikes the phototransistor, it allows a current to flow. That current flows through the resistor and generates a voltage. It's that voltage that we read as the output. The output of the sensor circuit is the node between the phototransistor and the resistor, so we'll attach the oscilloscope probe right there. So here's our setup. We're reading about 2.5 volts consistently on the scope at the moment, and that's because that's what the battery provides. There's very little light falling on the circuit. When we shine a light, that will change. Now if we take a flashlight and shine the light on the light sensor, that light allows a current to flow across the semiconductor junction. Well, because that current is the same as the current that's flowing through the resistor, the resistor generates a voltage, and it's that voltage that we're reading on the oscilloscope. As you can see, the voltage varies between near the battery level at about 2.5 volts and all the way down to close to 0 volts when the maximum amount of current is flowing through the semiconductor junction. It's this varying level that you can read with one of Galago's analog pins to get your measurement. And that's how an ambient light sensor works.